Hello, good morning. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Oh, not like me, but I was rushing. I'll go ahead and get started uh, introducing myself. Let's see, is this level? Y'all already know. Okay. And I think I got... Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everyone. I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Hmm. I don't see my um, name at the bottom, but y'all know who I am. I am um, welcome to my struggle cooking class. I am not a professional chef. I am just a boy mom times two. I have two teenage boys. They're at their dad's right now, so I'm going to be cooking just for me this morning. I have been on a health and wellness journey, having always struggled with weight. Now in my 40s, I'm 46, I have found what works for me, and that is working with a metabolic specialist. I was tested for food sensitivities, so my test was a cheek swab and some hair samples. So that's my list over there on the fridge of the foods that I can have, and then there's a list of foods that I have to avoid. But everything that I make here, you can use regular ingredients. I like to cook um, things that I would like, things that I would cook for you. You can follow along. Uh, whether you like to eat, you're welcome here. Whether you like to cook like me, you're welcome here. If you just want to watch me do it, you are welcome here. Um, let's see, what else? I used to be pre-diabetic. I used to have elevated cholesterol and I used to have borderline blood pressure. All of that is normal now because I've completely changed the way that I eat and snack. And need to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> oh, let's see. So whatever brings you here, you are most welcome. Oh, so yeah, we are going to make stuffed peppers. We are going to make a smoothie. I'm just going to do a little bit of breakfast. I'll be on for a couple of hours and then I'll be going to service. So I see somebody very special in the chat. Let's take attendance. Hello, Alex. Good morning. Make sure your dad knows that you're watching. That's my youngest. Leanne is present. Thank you so much for being here. We're making one of your favorites, stuffed peppers. And Val is here. Good morning. Good morning. So you all can sit back and relax and enjoy. Feel free to ask questions. I will try to get to them. Um, but yeah. Let's see, so I am your substitute teacher. You all are my scholars. The live chat in YouTube is our study hall. Feel free to ask questions to each other. Um, pass notes back and forth. Take a bio break if you need to. Um, let's see, I am the daughter of a retired home economics teacher. If you all enjoy the Nana Chronicles, I did post a video yesterday of cooking with my mom and I'm going to create a YouTube playlist cooking with Nana now that I know how to clip my videos and upload them so you all can see that portion. Um, I've been cooking since 1842. When my mom was in the kitchen, my dad would say, Maggie, in the kitchen. So that's just the way that I was way I was raised, but I really appreciate it now that I have to make uh, changes. So I am your teacher. Nana is our principal. I'm also the student of lead attorney. He's our principal. He is a now retired family law attorney. Please check him out. He is incredible, a great supporter. He put together a course on YouTube live streaming that I finally completed. And, uh, has taught me a lot, and uh, Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only five months old, but we are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube, so sit back and relax. We've got Lauren here. Hello, good morning, and welcome. We got Lisa here. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? And Alex, okay, I'm glad your dad let you have your computer. All right, so let's see. I do have an unboxing to do. All right, this is not food related, but um, I just got back from some European travel. Went to Italy and Switzerland with Alex. Um, and I kind of learned the hard way that I should have had something with me that I didn't take. So I ordered one and um, let's see. We'll do a little bit of an unboxing here.
So I am a um, I am a big believer in the grocery delivery services. Amazon Prime I usually use for food, but um, you all know you can get other things. So let's see what we've got here. Ah, Moving in Silence is ready for stuffed peppers. So get ready, Maggie. Yeah, I think I'm going to do egg and um, cheese and maybe some, hmm, do I want to do bacon or anything? Let's see. So yeah, we'll get started with the stuffed peppers and while they're cooking, we'll do our smoothie. So I'll get my uniform on and we'll get, side, um, get started. All right. Let's see if I have the, all right. So this one is a little bigger, a little bit overkill, but I did have to borrow this from somebody while I was traveling. So I decided to get my own. It is a power bank. So if you have any summer travel and you're not going to be, you know, have access to your, um, you know, electricity, or if you're traveling somewhere where the outlets are different, you never know. Um, you know, long day trips, a lot of walking, a lot of traveling. How do I get in here? Um, but yes, I definitely, I have a few small ones, but I didn't take them with me. And so I bought this power bank from Amazon so that I'm ready for next time. So you guys can see what I like about this one. When you turn it on, it actually has the percentage here. So it shows you like if you're at 70%, but you charge this up and uh, you can see it has multiple ports here. So you can do USB C and I think that's micro. Um, let's see if it's got any power. Okay, so you can see it came with a little bit of charge on it. It's at 74%. So um, this is something that I definitely will remember to take with me next time I'm traveling. I don't have any more international trips for the rest of this year, but I am in a travel group and we travel every summer. Um, I think I'm going to go somewhere locally for Labor Day weekend, but for road trips or bus trips, having a power bank is, um, if you take a lot of pictures like I do, or you use your cell phone a lot like I do, definitely, um, a good investment. I think that was about 40 bucks, but you can get them in all kinds of different sizes and that one will charge multiple devices and it uh, holds its charge all day. All right, so let's get started with the stuffed peppers for Moving in Silence. So Moving in Silence, I will ask you, you tell me, have you ever made stuffed peppers? And if so, what do you like in them? And if I have them, I'll do that here. I was going to do egg and cheese. Uh, we could do veggies. We could do bacon. I don't know if anybody has any favorites, but I'm going to get my apron on and clean the counter and we're going to get started. Oh, you all know we have Maggie merch. If one of the moderators could drop the, um, the link to the Zazzle store. So we have adult aprons, kid size aprons. This is the, um, obviously white apron in long. So. <clears throat> it comes in white, it comes in tan or khaki, um, standard size, long size, and even kid sizes. So let me clean the counter. Okay, Leanne says onion. Let's see if I have any onion left. Onion and peppers is always a good combo. I used a lot of onion if y'all were with me yesterday. No, was it two days ago I did the shrimp scampi? I might have used up the onion there, but I'll take a look. Maybe I can find a little bit. Hope everybody is doing well. Lisa loves the dress. Thank you so much. Belle picked this out. I'm going to do a little spin for you. So this is an Amazon dress. Belle, if you want to drop the link. I have been very inspired by kind of the 1950s throwback West Side Story Um party tea dresses, um, but I absolutely love it. It comes in multiple colors. So if you guys like the royal blue, I bought a variety. You've seen me in yellow, you've seen me in orange. Yesterday I had the baby blue with the white polka dots. I have a ladybug version, which is red with black polka dots, and I even ordered the green. But you can see it's got a little belt here and it has pockets. 
So I absolutely love it and it's knee length. So y'all can see there. But thank you. I always want to represent you well and represent myself well. So thank you so much, Lisa. All right. So now let's put our apron on. When Nana came by last time, my mom gardens. I do not garden. I know. Love the pockets in the dress, right? Ooh, moving in silence says you've never made a breakfast version. Just a traditional version. All right, well, let's do it together. Breakfast version, you would use all the Western. Western is what, like ham, peppers, onions? I don't know if I have ham. I do have some beef bacon, though. All right, get this tied together. All right, wash my hands. So mom brought me some peppers from her garden. So I want to go ahead and use those up and see what we have. Let's see. It's nice to have nice organic produce. So the stuffed peppers, this will work with any type of pepper that you have. So if you have red, yellow, uh, orange peppers, obviously I have green, so that's what I'm going to use. All of the peppers have a slightly different taste. Some of them are sweeter than others, but they're nice and fresh. Um, so a couple things with the peppers. So I've made them two ways. So you can see the shape here. We have one that's a little bit... Uh, Wish it was a little bit taller. <laughs> so we have one that is more of like a standing pepper. So this is great. Y'all know you can stuff them with like taco uh, fillings, um, Italian fillings, whatever. You know, have it your way, Burger King. And then we have this pepper, which is a little bit longer. You can see the bottom of it. This one would not stand up on its own. Now I'm just cooking for me, so I'm going to do one. But if you are making uh, for the family, you can get several peppers in a tray and put them like in a rectangular tray and then stand them up with each other. Oh, Leanne says you can't see anything on the counter. Let me know if it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, Thank you, Belle. You put up the dress. Uh, it shows me that you see the peppers, but maybe it's uh, got a little stuck. Y'all know I'm struggle streaming. Mm, let's see, I'll take this down and then bring it back. But um, these are the peppers that I have. So hopefully it comes back online. All right, so as far as stuffing the pe peppers, you've got a couple options. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Leanne. So you've got a couple options here. Now, if you uh, want to stuff the whole pepper, then you can cut just the top off here. And then you have this big basin that you could put more ingredients in. Okay, y'all can only see me. Y'all aren't seeing the side by side. I'll give it just a minute. Maybe there's a delay on the comments, y'all. Because sometimes I see the comments and it's afterwards uh, that you've put it. Um, I'll give it just a minute and get my eggs. Okay, so Leanne can see. Lauren says it's lagging. I don't know y'all. I don't want to mess it up because some people can see and then some people can't. So I'm just going to keep going. But if it gets really bad, okay, Bell sees the side by side. Thank you all. Okay. So what I was saying with the peppers, if you want, you have like this type of pepper that's, you know, big enough uh, of a basin that can kind of stand on its own. For me, when I'm cooking just one, this is what I usually look for. You can cut off just the top here and you have the you know the bulk of the pepper to stuff with as much goodness as you want um excuse me or we can cut them long ways which is what i think i'm going to do so here's the thing when we put breakfast ingredients into a pepper one of them is going to be cracking a raw egg inside and so what i learned is that when i use this big pepper if i just cut the top off and then i crack an egg in here and I have 
filled with other stuff, it's a little harder to see that it's done. So what I prefer to do is I'm gonna cut it, I guess this is long ways, and then open it up like a book. So I'll have two halves, and that's what I'm going to do for my pepper. But there are options for you. All right, so let's go ahead and wash it. And let me get a cutting board, we're gonna cut it in half. All right, so I am using the brandless knives. These are under $10. I think they're good quality. I do have a discount code for you guys, I think, on the uh, cheat sheet. So I'm going to wash this pepper. This came from Mom's Garden, so I want to go ahead and use it. All right. I'm trying to think. If you want a Denver, um, i got to check and see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half long ways. All right, and then I'm going to take the uh, insides out with the seeds. Now I'm gonna try and be careful because I don't wanna rip all of this out because if I do, when I crack my egg in here, it'll spill out of the side. So I'm gonna get a paring knife. Usually if I'm just cutting peppers, I would just like rip it out, but I'm actually gonna get a paring knife just to kind of cut around that carefully because what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have the basin that's going to hold the egg, the raw egg in there. So I don't want to take out too much of the edge of the pepper. Now, again, if you are doing, if you had cut it this way, you don't have to worry about that too much, but I'm trying to make two stuffed peppers. So they're going to lay flat and I'm going to put the egg in them this way. So I'm just kind of going, okay, y'all can see. Just wanna take the stem out and no more. All right, so take that out. And then I'm gonna take the, um, I don't know what this is called. One of y'all told me one time, like these uh, seeds and this like white part. And then I am going to run it under the sink to rinse it out to make sure I get all of those seeds out. Bell says they're excellent, wonderful. All right, so we have one half pepper. Now again, I'm making them this way. You could make them standing. One of the reasons why I like to make them this way is because they will stay uh, more stable with the flat bottom. It gives more room for the egg to kind of spread out and it's easier for me to see that it's cooking. All right, so we've got one, this is a little, interesting shaped pepper, but it came from Nana's garden, so we're going to use it. Let's uh, clean off my seeds. Now, one thing about cooking these peppers, peppers have a lot of water in them, which is fine, but I, I think, was it Leanne that said you actually, do you put like a paper towel in here? I think it was you that said you kind of put a paper towel in here to kind of dry them out while you're getting your ingredients together because when it's cooked and I cut into it, it's gonna run with a little bit of water, which is fine. Water is good for us. So I'm using a paring knife to just cut out any of the stem without getting too, too rough with it because I want to keep that lip because I'm going to be putting egg in here. Now, if you were just doing like, I don't know, meat and cheese and uh, something that wasn't runny, I wouldn't worry about this too much, but I'm trying to be a little bit delicate. I guess you could keep a little hat on there, but I don't want it on there. I want to be able to eat the whole thing. So. So you basically want to make a little bowl inside the pepper so that you have room for all the good stuff you're going to put in there. Oh, Leanne says yes. So what I might do, since moving in silence wants a Denver omelet, 
I'll see if I just leave them with a paper towel and, and crisp up some bacon really quickly in the air fryer. Because y'all can see these are pretty juicy. All right, so we've got a pretty good base and I'm looking at this one because it's a little oblong shape. I may need to be careful about putting that raw egg in there so it actually stays in. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse out the other half here and just get those seeds out. Hey, good morning, Dee Dee. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so we have one green pepper. We have cut it in half long ways. And I'm just putting the paper towel in here to kind of let it sit and absorb some of that water. And I'm gonna move this over to the side and we'll make some, um, we'll make some beef bacon that we can crisp up in the air fryer. So we can put egg and cheese and crumble with a little bacon. I don't think I have ham. I don't eat ham, um, but um, bacon is probably the only like salty meat that I have. Um, and I'll look and see if I have onion too. But keep in mind, you know, once you put that egg in here, it kind of fills up a lot of space. So you really can just sprinkle a little bit, but it's fine. Let's get some bacon started. Okay, so while our peppers are over here on the paper towels, I just move them out of the way. So I'm going to be making some bacon. This will work with regular bacon, turkey bacon, pork, pork bacon, <laughs> but you all turned me on to beef bacon. This came from Costco. This is the closest thing that I found to regular bacon and it cooks up really nicely. Lisa's on. Lisa's the one who turned me on to beef bacon. We love it. The kids eat it. Everybody likes it. So I'm going to cook my bacon in the air fryer. Y'all know we have a new air fryer. Excalibur, you have named it. My old air fryer, the Struggle Air Fryer, has been retired. Y'all clowned me that it made too much noise. So we have a new air fryer. So this is the pristine drip tray Alex is on. So we have our word of the day, pristine. I'm going to line it with foil so that it catches the grease. You can use regular aluminum foil. I just had these aluminum foil pop-up sheets came from the Dollar Tree. So you can see here, they're already cut into a square or you can use the one on the roll, it is fine. So I like to line the air fryer tray with foil for easy cleanup. That keeps Excalibur looking nice and new as long as we can, right? Got to represent my scholars well. Okay, so my air fryer is the oven style that has multiple shelves in there. You can see you can put them at different heights in the air fryer. So I just have my tray here. I'm not going to grease it up with anything because we've got enough going on with the uh, beef bacon. So this came from Costco. That's why it's a five pound bag. You don't have to buy this much. You can get beef bacon at Whole Foods. I've also seen it at Sam's Club and Ingalls, which is a grocery store here in the South. All right, so you guys can see what we have here. Let me see if I can gently get a couple pieces off because it's all together. And I try to be delicate when I'm handling raw bacon because I don't want to pull it and that'll stretch the fibers. So usually if I have the bacon in the pack, let's say this is the regular flat pack, I actually cut around, let me move for y'all, I actually kind of cut around like this in a U-shape and then I peel up the plastic and use two hands to lift off one uh, strip at a time because if you pull it from the side, not the end of the world, but it'll stretch and it'll kind of stretch larger than my pan. All right, so you guys can see here, I've got two strips of bacon, the beef bacon. So I'm just gonna separate it carefully, but you guys can see it gives you the nice bacon experience with the bacon fat, but it's from beef. All right, 
So I've got two strips on my air fryer tray because I'm greedy. I want one more. I don't know how many strips of bacon y'all eat, but you can see what we've got going on here. I got room for one more. So I'm just gently kind of running my finger underneath. See if I can get. Okay, one more strip of bacon. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the air fryer and press the beef button. It won't take long. The fat will drip down onto the tray here and then it should crisp up nicely. So let me wash my hands. All right, so I'm not putting anything on it. This is going into the air fryer. Okay, so mom taught me to cook with all my senses, so we'll keep an eye on it. That's one of the things that I love about this type of air fryer because it has the glass door, kind of like an oven style, so I can see through and look for the crispness and the color that I want. Uh, an air fryer is basically just like a convection oven. It's a little oven for me. They make so many different kinds, but the heat source is at the top, so it's an oven with a fan. So because it has those different shelves, the closer you put your food to the top, the faster it will cook and the hotter it will cook. If you want to just keep it warm, you can put it towards the bottom. Um, but yeah, when I'm just cooking for one or even if you're just cooking for two, I like using the air fryer. My oven works and my stove works, but I like to do, you know, make it a little easier on myself. All right, so we're going to put the beef bacon back into the fridge. And I'm gonna look and see if I have any onion that I can dice up. Um, I've already got my manchego cheese. So let me see what I can find um, to put in our peppers. All right, Leanne, you are in luck. So I have an onion in here. Um, so let me bring my cutting board back. I'll go ahead and dice up the whole thing. Um, so I'm just going to move our peppers onto a paper towel. So what we're doing here, we just cut up a green pepper and I have a paper towel in here just to kind of soak up any water. So when we stuff them and they cook, they'll be less watery when we cut into them. So if you guys haven't seen the hack that I learned for cutting an onion without crying, apparently when you cut an onion, it looks for the closest water source. And that's what makes you tear up. So they say if you get a little cup of water, a little bowl of water, put it next to the onion, you cry less. And it's been working for me. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have just a little ramekin. I'm gonna fill this with some tap water. And I'm gonna put this here next to the onion. Do I wanna cut the whole thing? I mean, I got some time. Let's see how this is looking. Let me see, I got a meal prep. How do you guys like your onions? Do you like them diced? Do you like them ringed? Do you like them strips? What do y'all do for onions? So I'm a big fan of these meal prep containers. I bought a box at Walmart. You can also repurpose if you take out food. If it comes in a pretty good sturdy container, run it through the dishwasher and reuse it. So for meal prepping, you can have your ingredients like your, um, we're gonna put our onion in here. You see that I have one with the cheese that we're going to use. I shredded that yesterday. 
so you can have your veggies and your ingredients already ready to go. So if you're making an omelet, toss them in. If you're making stuffed peppers, toss them in. If you're making a soup or a stew, you have everything ready. Leanne likes strips for onions. All right. Now, because I'm doing the stuffed pepper, and you can see here the peppers that we have are kind of small, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do most in strips, and then I'll dice them just to put inside here. But um, I like rings on a burger. I like strips for sauteing on a steak. But when you have something small like that, you want to dice them, which just means... Um, small little cubes. I am not a professional chef. I don't have, you know, amazing knife skills, but basically if you don't know what I say is cut in half and then cut in half and then cut in half. So just keep cutting. I'm going to go ahead, since I've got some time, I'll go ahead and peel that outer layer off. And then I just like to follow the um, natural line of the onion. And if you cut this way, if you cut this way, you'll notice that the onion already has like strips built in. It'll just kind of disintegrate on you. Yeah, Lauren says if you don't cut off the root until the end, it also helps. I think you mean with the tears, you're probably right, but yeah. I'm just putting this into my container so we have onion strips I think I want to do like a Philly I have some stuff to do like a Philly cheesesteak hot pocket with my cassava tortillas so this would be great to saute maybe we'll do that with the other pepper saute them and then stuff them with some uh, goat mozzarella so moving in silence says Maggie I found a gluten-free sausage gravy mix at Kroger wonderful the brand is Pioneer. You made yesterday with turkey sausage and it was okay. It just needed seasonings. Yeah, I understand. Um, I'm not a big gravy person. I'm more of a gravy person like, man, whew, mashed potatoes and gravy. Those were the good old days. But um, I'm more of like a gravy on the holidays, like with holiday food. But moving in silence, what did you... Oh, you made turkey sausage with gravy. Okay. Y'all know I'm not the food police. I try to eat clean and I try to eat, you know, get my calories from the food. But yeah, nothing like sopping up with some gravy, right? Okay, Lauren says yes. Okay, my dear. All right, we'll save a little bit of onion to dice. I hear my bacon sizzling. Let me just take a quick look at it. still going. And if I haven't said it yet, thank you so much for being here. I love cooking for y'all. All right, just dicing the onion so that it's ready to go. Waiting on our bacon to cook. I'm not using all this onion. I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this prep container while I got a little bit of time almost done with the onion because all that's going to go we're going to do we're going to crack an egg we're going to do a little bit of seasoning I know Leanne likes the um bagel seasoning we'll do some bagel seasoning and um let's see if I cut this off or take that off um cheese and uh, yeah that's it little goes a long way just simple ingredients and yeah I'm not crying I'm touching this and I'm not crying all right maybe we'll do a little dice with this So the little water trick is working because y'all know 
and I'll just put these slivers in here. Y'all know with, um, what's it called? Um, onions, eyes will be watering. So give that a try. Snuggles is here. Yes, Snuggles. I am wearing the wife, the, the Stepford wife dress that you called. Yes. So I do that. I don't know if y'all do that. So yes, Snuggles, I had on yellow yesterday and today I have on the royal blue. Let me know if y'all like the royal blue. But um, I saw West Side Story and I just really fell in love with the 1950s kind of like um, throwback vintage, you know. Um, it's kind of girly. Well, it's very girly. It's very feminine and I like it. So um, Vel actually sent me the link and uh, I got one and loved it. And so I bought multiple colors and I have one more on the way. So Snuggles, let me know what's your favorite color. Ah, Snuggles wants to know where I got this dress. Belle just dropped the link. This is actually an Amazon dress, $35. Y'all don't spend a lot of money on clothes. All right, so I'm just covering up the onions. These will go in the fridge and we have more than enough here diced for our peppers. So Caudel says I have to rub under uh, running water. What do you rub under running water? Is that an onion trick? Oh. Caudel, I missed it. She says, hi, Miss Maggie. Hi, Caudel. I found that if you rub your fingers on the back of a knife, it takes away the onion and garlic smell on my hands. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so Snuggles, if you look up, oh, Leanne says cream cheese is good. Okay, we'll put a little dollop. Do you do, Leanne, do you do cream cheese and a melting cheese or in addition to or instead of? Um, we'll get some goat's cheese since I don't eat cream cheese, but we'll try since we've got... Um, peppers and I just have them stuffed with a napkin here to blot out some of the water we can do one with melting cheese and one with cream cheese you're welcome snuggles so just give you a little show since you like my dress thank you for the compliment so again this is I love this little neckline you know I have to be modest so I love that it gives me good coverage here I don't really love my arms so I wish the sleeves were a little bit longer but it has pockets and it has this belt and it's a nice a-line so um, you can look online I think it comes in like over a dozen colors I absolutely love it slip it on and yeah good to go Oh, that's right, Leanne says you spread the cream cheese inside the peppers and then put more melting cheese on top. I remember that. All right, so let's check on our bacon one more time. All right, bacon is done, looking good. Let me bring it over here onto a paper plate so y'all can see. We'll put our onions away. Paper plate, I keep saying paper plate. I mean paper towel on a plate. Um, All right, so just a regular plate. We're done with the water. Thank you very much. No tears. But yeah, when I find something I like, I'll buy multiple colors of it. Um, you guys seem to like me in um, primary colors, bright colors. But I did have on pastels yesterday. All right. So you guys can see our beef bacon. To me, it tastes really good. It tastes like a bacon steak. So we're gonna let this uh, cool off just a little bit. And we're gonna crumble this inside our peppers. All right, so let's put our sliced onion away. So we'll have this maybe for our Philly that we wanna do whenever. I don't know if I'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll live stream later. Um, and let's get the goat cheese for me. It could be cream cheese for y'all. So just clean it up. And I think I'll make some, some morning coffee. Leanne suggested cream cheese. 
Um, you all know that I try to avoid dairy. So this is what I'm using, the Shabri. This is my spreadable goat's cheese. So this is what I'm going to be using. I had a little spill in the fridge. So my container has some coffee on it. Sorry, it's not as presentable. Let me get one nice for you guys. The cream cheese on the inside is fine, but I had something knock over. <laughs> and I'm still going to use it. This is not a proper cooking show, but this is what I'm using. So Chavri, you can get this at Publix, Sprouts Farmer's Market. You can buy online in bulk, but you can see it's a white, spreadable, creamy cheese. This is my substitute for cream cheese because I try to eat sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. All right, so let's see if we can start assembling. Bacon is looking good, nice and crispy. Eat a little bit for research purposes. Mm. Oh my God, it just melts. Oh, oh, oh y'all, I get so excited. Mm. Woo! Oh, keep it together, Maggie. All right, let's just, so they're nice and um, holding their shape. So our bacon is ready. Looking good. All right, class, so let's assemble our peppers. I'm glad you guys are here today. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so I'm going to make these also in the air fryer. So I've still got the drip tray in there. So for now, you probably don't need to oil this, but I'm gonna spray it just with a little bit of coconut oil. I'm gonna cook the peppers like this. So they shouldn't um, stick, but you know, just in case. So I'm using my little refillable sprayer. Link should be on the Maggie cheat sheet. You can get this on Amazon. Uh, it turns regular oil into like a spray oil. So I just filled this with my own coconut oil. I'm gonna spray over the sink. You can put olive oil, you can do, you know, whatever oil that you like and you just open this up. Put your oil inside, and there's a link for this on the Maggie cheat sheet, which should be in the description. If you have Pam or any of those cooking sprays, y'all, I am not the food police. Please use whatever you have. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to get the rest of this weight off, so I just try to eat as clean as I can, which means, you know, sometimes on those spray things, they have, you know, extra ingredients on there. It's not the end of the world, but. Caudel says you found goat's cheese crumbles at Whole Foods and you had them in a salad for dinner with beef bacon. Oh, so good. That does sound good. What else was in the salad, Caudel? So you had... I want to know what kind of greens you had, the goat's cheese crumbles, yes. So you all know um, the goat's cheese comes in multiple forms. You can get it in the creamy form, you can get it in the shredded form or um, block form that I shred to melt. Um, you can also get it in the crumbles. That's a great substitute for feta if you're trying to avoid dairy like me. Okay. Oh, I love milk and cream and all that. It just doesn't love me back. Um, for me, you know, it's inflammatory, so yeah, I got to stay away from it. And y'all know I just came back from vacation where I ate everything. Okay, so Leanne says she limes the inside with cream cheese. So I'm going to be using my Chavri goat's cheese. So let me get a little spatula. So I just have, now you probably, if I had taken this out a little bit ahead of time, it would have been softer, but I'm just going to kind of smooth it on the inside. I think we did this before, Leanne, and it was so good. So you have the creaminess of the cream cheese or goat's cheese. Um, and if you're new to goat's cheese, it's basically just cheese made from goat's milk, which is approved for me. I can have goat's cheese. I can have buffalo cheese. I can have sheep's cheese. It's just something about the proteins in cow dairy that a lot of us, you know, struggle with. So I'm just kind of spreading that all on the inside. But yeah, if you can tolerate dairy, get your Philadelphia cream cheese and get on in there. So we have one with cream cheese and we'll do the other one. So even though this just came out of the fridge, you can see it's still pretty pliable. 
Um, if you want, you can take it out ahead of time and let it sit out for a little bit so it's really smooth and soft. But you just want to try and get this lined up on the inside. It's been a while since I made these. So Leanne, okay, I'm reading what you do. You made these for Leanne before. So this pepper is a little bit odd shaped. So y'all know I'm greedy. I'm just trying to get everything in there. All right. So we've got our pepper mostly lined with cream cheese, goat's cheese for me, my substitute. Okay. And so let's see, what does Leanne say? You spread the cream cheese inside the pepper and then add all the ingredients and then even more cheese. All right, so what I learned you guys, before I used to crack the egg right away, um, but then it gets kind of, you know, covered with uh, all the stuff, let's see. I want, I'm thinking of the layers because I'm thinking about the presentation. So let's do a little bit of onion. We just diced some onion. I know Leanne, you do garlic too and then you do bagel seasoning, right? So I'm just doing a little bit of onion. You gotta be careful, a little goes a long way and then you won't have room for your egg and it'll overflow. I know Leanne does garlic too. I'm going to do a little bit of bagel seasoning. Maybe I'll do that at the top. Mm, I think I have some garlic. Yeah, she does garlic. Hi, spread the word. Thank you for being here. All right. So I have fresh garlic, but just to be a little bit faster, I've got this garlic. I couldn't find the Wickles one, Leanne. So this is just fresh garlic, and I'm going to put it in the garlic press and just get like a little smear of garlic. Put it over here on the cutting board. You can see when you press through, it just all comes out. So I'm going to get a little, I guess I could use the same spatula. It's all going in here. So I'll put just a little bit in here. Y'all know with garlic, a little goes a long way. I like garlic. If you don't, you can omit this. You can do them however you like, but just kind of spread it throughout so you have a little bit of that garlicky flavor in every bite. All right, so we've got one clove of garlic in there. All right, we've got our onion, we've got our pepper, I'm just worried about like it tilting. All right, I may have to, and then moving them to the air fryer. All right, that may be how I have to do it. So I think what I'm gonna do now, we've got our pepper, we've got our goat's cheese or cream cheese. Moving in silence says you don't soften the onions first. I'm not doing it now, I just use some raw diced onions, um, but you could if you wanted to saute them first, absolutely. Uh, we'll put a little bit of cheese, but I need to leave room for that egg. This is the shredded manchego, which is a sheep's milk cheese. That This is kind of like a Parmesan substitute for me. If y'all saw me, I have the block. I'll show it to you. Um, it's a nice, salty, dry, aged cheese. All right. Let's see if we can crumble. Crumble it over here on the paper towel. This is the beef bacon, and I'm going to do some more on top. And I think what I'm going to do, I learned the hard way. I'm going to get the spatula, and I'm really going to press this stuff in there so that I have a nice basin for my raw egg. Try and get it all into the corners. Because if you fill it too much, and you don't have to do egg. If you don't eat egg, you could just fill it with cheese and the veggies. But I'm going to do the breakfast version, which has eggs. So I'm just kind of shoving everything into the sides. Put a little bit more 
baking in here. This would be fun, you know, for the family, for the kids. Everybody can um, do their own. Alex, I don't know if you're still there, but you could do like a little stuffed pepper assembly line. All right. So now here comes the hard part. <laughs> I'm gonna crack two eggs, one in each half. I'm using regular whole eggs. If you use egg substitute, that's fine too. All right, so hopefully, if you have a really good symmetrical pepper, then you don't have to worry about anything spilling over. I kind of push them towards each other to, um, to support. Maybe if I had a dish, that would be smart, but what did we do? We did ramekins last time, right y'all? We did like something like that. Let me see if I can get another one. That might be smart. All right, that way they have a little bit of uh, structure. I'm not a professional, y'all. I just make this up as I go. So we're gonna carefully crack a whole egg in there. Nice. And then one more on this one. Hopefully I've got a nice little basin in there for it to go. Ah, crap. You can see some was, ah. Y'all can see I lost some of it, but I've got most of it. Okay. Now, um, I'll put a little bit more bacon, more cheese, and then sprinkle the bagel seasoning over the top. So let me wash my hands since that was a raw egg. Okay. <clears throat> so I got a couple more strips of bacon. You know what I'll do? Just using some kitchen shears to try and get like little pieces. So get a little bit of bacon in every bite. Should be able to crumble it with my hands, but. You could just rip it, you know, with your hands or do strips, but I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Now I try to keep the egg, well, it'll be covered. It's just a little hard to see that the egg is done, but it's fine. And then one more over here. This could be ham, this could be ground turkey. For me, it's beef bacon, could be sausage. Have it your way, Burger King. All right, it's so a nice and bacony, <laughs> wash my hands. And then last will be the cheese, please. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of the manchego. So this is like a Parmesan substitute for me. It could be cheddar for you. It could be, you know, whatever melting cheese you like. I'm being greedy. We'll get that nice bubbly brown. Just using the rest of it. All right, now I'm gonna carefully move this over to the air fryer and cook them. Um, I should be better at giving y'all times and temperatures, but I'm looking for the cheese to be a nice brown and then I've buried the egg, but you would cook it to your doneness preference. If you like your eggs a little runny, I don't know, I'd say seven to 10 minutes. So let's see if I can move this carefully. Oh, oh we didn't do the bagel seasoning. So just for a little, All right, so let's 
see if I can get a little overflow and I'm greedy. All right, so hopefully y'all can see what we have here and I'll lift it up so you can see they're in the little ramekin. So we have our egg, cream cheese, garlic, onion, um, manchego cheese, and bacon. Oh, can't forget the bacon. Mm. All right, carefully to the air fryer. That's the tricky part for me, just making sure that I line them up like a bookcase so they're not slanted, right? All right, so let's, I'm just wiping all the time because this is new. All right. So we'll just let it keep going. It's still on bacon setting. I still have one piece of bacon here. All right, so we'll leave that for plating. And we're gonna make a smoothie while that's cooking. All right, so let's clean up. I will put this on a plate just to save for when our pepper comes out. And let's clean up. Let me just load some stuff in the dishwasher. I don't know if anybody's been waiting desperately for the smoothie. If y'all come in here and you're trying to cook along with me, just let me know. So I'm not, I know TLA is the long stroker. Sometimes I'll slow cook you. <laughs> I know some of y'all like to watch and cook along. Some of y'all like to watch the replay where you can pause. Sometimes y'all want to take screenshots. So definitely want to make sure I help you. This is what I do. I literally stream what I'm making that day, whether for myself or for the family. And um, this is just what I'm eating, but I wanna make sure that I'm helping. All right, just put my dishes away. I clean as I go. All right. Let's see, putting the goat's cheese away and the garlic away. Oh, moving in silence says, thanks, Maggie. Let me see. Thanks, Maggie. You've given a great idea. You're so welcome. I'm going to make a quiche filling and put in the peppers instead of a crust. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, if you guys are trying to avoid starches or carbs, you know, the peppers are, are great, especially the red ones are my favorite. They're sweet, but these came from my mom's garden, so we're going to give them a try. All right. I'll find this container for the diced onions. I'll keep the diced and the sliced ones separate. Clean it up. But I'm glad you guys get ideas here. That's what I love to do. Spread the word says, is the air fryer on? You don't see the light on? It is on. You know what? That's so funny that you're asking because the last one, y'all remember it rattled so bad. You knew when it was on. It is on, but you turn on the light if you want to. So I'll turn it on for you. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> is the air fryer on? Y'all know the last one was singing old Negro spirituals because it had to warm up. Oh, so embarrassing. It is on, my dear, my dear. All right, let's clean up. Yes, it is nice. Thank you to Mr. Option One for insisting that I replace the air fryer and making it possible. It still worked, y'all. It just had this weird rattle. It's sitting over there. I'll get rid of it. All right. 
So I have a little mini container for the diced onions. So we'll just clean these up. And um, I got a bigger piece in here. Clean off the counter and we'll make our smoothie. Hope you all are doing well. Happy Sunday. We'll go on for just another hour and I'm gonna go to service and let you guys have your day. I'm just going to wipe the counter down. All right, so I said I was going to make some coffee too. And a smoothie. <laughs> I will go ahead and make a quick cup of coffee and then walk you guys through this smoothie. It's really simple. You can make it with, with as little as three ingredients or you can make it as fancy as you like. Let me wash my hands. I'm gonna start my day off with a quick coffee so I'll just show you guys how I make it. Spread the word. Did I ever try on a yellow dress? Yes, I wore it yesterday. Um, if you look at my video from yesterday, what did I make for y'all yesterday? Does anybody remember what I made yesterday? Oh, the chicken and waffles. But yes, I wore it yesterday and it was beautiful. My favorite color so far has been the yellow. But if you all look at any of my live streams this week, like Snuggle said, I've been wearing the same dress every day, just different versions of it. Let me know what color you like the best. But yes, if you look yesterday, um, chicken and waffles, I had the yellow dress on. It's very bright. I love it. All right, so I have my mug. And I always start my beverages with my alkaline water. My test results said that I need to drink more alkaline water. I'm not a doctor. You can look up the reasons why. But I was uh, drinking water all the time, and it was just going through me. So you can buy alkaline water already bottled. To me, it's expensive. This is in the cheat sheet. You can get this at Amazon. I put this in all of my beverages, just a couple drops and it turns regular tap into alkaline water so that now when I drink, I stay more hydrated. I'm using the Keurig. This is just, excuse me, generic donut shop coffee. You can get whatever flavor you like. But I love that y'all are here for the fashion too. That's funny. Um, but I love dressing up for you guys and myself. Okay, so in my coffee, I'm going to do my, do I have almond cream? I actually like this. So this is Calithia Farm. So because I'm dairy free, I can't have half and half. Half and half is um, half milk and half cream. Love it, but it doesn't love me back. So this is something that I've liked. This is Calithia Farm's better half. They have a lot of flavors. I get the one that's unsweetened and I sweeten it myself. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Bill. Okay, sorry about that. Yesterday was the blue polka dots. That's right, because Snuggles called me the Stepford wife. That's right. So if you look at the shrimp scampi video I had on the yellow dress. Thank you, my dear. So this Calithia Farms better half is my half and half substitute. And you can see it's half coconut cream and almond milk. So instead of dairy, this is my plant-based half and half. So this is what I put in my coffee. Almond milk by itself is fine, but it's a little thin. It's a little watery. So if you like the creaminess of a half and half, this is what I have found that, you know, I like and I like it light and sweet don't judge me so I put you know a lot in and then for uh, for sweetener Y'all know I like the skinny syrups. I don't know if anybody has a preference today. I have vanilla, I have the big mambo jumbo, or I have this one, pumpkin cheesecake. So these are my substitutes for those sugary syrups that you find in the coffee shops. Um, this one was a gift from Maya, but uh, you can see $3.99 for this size. Uh, you can buy them online. I do have a discount code for you all in the um, Maggie's class notes. If you look towards the bottom, $7 off, $25. Um, 
But yeah, this is my sugar-free, zero calorie, zero sugar sweetener. So let me know. Hey, Crypto, thank you so much for being here. Let me know what y'all want for the coffee. Do you want a pumpkin cheesecake coffee? Or would you like a vanilla coffee? Or I got everything. I got mocha, I got all caramel, everything. But let me know what y'all like. Get our smoothie ingredients together. Let's take a peek in on our stuffed peppers. They look good and they sound good. I'm gonna put them back in for more, but I'll show you. Caudel says pumpkin, you got it, ma'am. So you all can see what we have so far. We got a nice browning on the cheese. Now I'm going to carefully. All right, do you see how I'm touching it a little bit and it's still a little jiggly? So our egg underneath there is not done yet. We're going back in, but can you see how the pepper on the side is starting to blister a little bit? Y'all can see that? Can y'all hear that? So we're going back in but it's coming along well. So these are gonna go back in the air fryer while we make our smoothie and coffee. All right, thank you for being here. I love cooking for y'all. Okay, so we're gonna do pumpkin cheesecake. Thank you, Caudel. So I'm gonna do several pumps because I like it sweet. Just because I don't eat sugar or try to avoid sugar does not mean I don't like sweet. So you could do like one or two or five. All right, so in here, I have my plant-based half and half, coconut cream and almond milk. I have my alkaline drops and I have my pumpkin uh, cheesecake sweetener. So dairy-free and sugar-free. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this underneath the Keurig. This is just regular donut shop, like a Dunkin' Donuts knockoff brand, and I'll brew into the creamer. And of course, the Keurig is out of water. <laughs> ah. All right, one moment, let's put this up. Crypto, since you're here, have you made any more chaffles since our last class? Crypto asks a question. How long did it take you to get used to sugar-free products? You're struggling? Yeah, I understand. The sugar was probably the hardest one. When I started my um, journey and I got my list of foods that I can't have, um, it took about two weeks. Because y'all, there's so much added sugar and stuff that we eat that's not only sweet, that's not, not even sweet. Um, but yeah, I was cranky, all that stuff. But um, it does take time, but you push through it and uh, I feel amazing. Sugar, unfortunately, as much as I love it, it's highly inflammatory, highly addictive, and just causes a lot of issues. I have a lot of joint pain with it. So um, I always like to say I eat to stay pain-free, and then the weight kind of comes off as a byproduct. All right, y'all, let's uh, get started on this smoothie. So I'm just going to make this up. A smoothie is pretty straightforward. In the summertime, it's warm where I am. Um, it's a great, you know, you can make it a meal. You can make it as basic or as simple as you want. I think I'm going to do like a medium basic. Oh, Crypto says two weeks. You know you're going to be a mess. Yeah, it's hard. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's hard. Um, spread the word says Maggie. 
<laughs> you know, I went back to your class notes to find the recipe for the Starbucks pink drink and it wasn't there. I think you should post ingredients and recipes of the foods you're cooking during each class in your class notes for the day. Okay, I see what you're saying. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it for you now um, so you'll have it. But the class notes is kind of a document that's like I add to it when I have stuff that's kind of evergreen, if you will, so you can pull it up at any time. What I'll do, I try to try, I try to put the recipes in the um, description or in the chat. Oh yeah, crypto, we got all the berries, my dear. All right, so let me get that for you before I forget. All right, so our coffee is done. I like this paper sack brown. Color. I'm going to taste it and make sure that it's good. If I wanted to get fancy, y'all could do like the dairy-free whipped cream and then sprinkle some cinnamon, but we'll get fancy with the uh, smoothie. I kind of feel like I want a little bit more sweet. <clears throat> but it's good. All right. Let me get you the pink drink. posted it on the, um, what's it called, when I made the pink drink. I thought I posted it there, but if I didn't, my apologies. Let me get it for you now. So in case anybody's wondering what that is, we did a video where we did a dupe of a Starbucks um, pink drink. I got it from Low Carb Love. Low Carb Love. So it's a passion fruit tea with coconut milk almond milk and coconut cream. It's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this link and then I'm going to come into my live stream and drop it for you now. Let me turn down the volume so we don't have that crazy feedback. There you go. All right. It's hot. It's crazy. Crypto says I don't use recipes, y'all. I'm coming. The cookbook is coming. I know, y'all. I got to do better. But yeah, I do. I just come in the kitchen and figure it out. Um, but yeah. Oh, no. See, if I don't do it, spread the word, I will forget. And then y'all be like, whatever happened to that? It is just me. Y'all, I'm putting some more cheesecake in here. One moment. Yeah, if I don't do it, I'll forget. But I can't be uh, your teacher if I don't uh, help you. Ah, uh, yes, I do put that in for members. Um, so, yes, you can take a look at my membership tab. I try to give my members advance notice of what I'm doing. Um, the only problem is, and this is a YouTube problem, I only have, not that you all care, and it's, you know, I only have access to the membership functions on my laptop, so I literally have to be sitting in front of my laptop. And I do a lot of stuff on my phone on the go, so that's why I don't, you know, I'm not as consistent. Ah, much better. All right, let's take a look at our peppers. If they're done, we gotta get this smoothie going. Ah, caramel with the cheesecake. Ooh, caramel syrup and cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake. That sounds amazing. Uh, so crypto, you're keto. Yeah, absolutely. I am not keto. Keto allows you to have dairy. Y'all know I'm dairy free, but I do get a lot of inspiration from keto uh, recipes. So moving in silence, let me know if you got the link. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> nice and golden very golden. Can y'all hear that? They're sizzling. Oh, I'm going to leave these in the air fryer while we make the smoothie really quick. Can you hear them popping? It's lava hot. Oh, Luke is her son. Oh, Oh, crypto, well, you know, I can't say it was just the sugar. Let me put this up because it's really hot, y'all, but it's looking good. Let me, sh oh, see, and I'm touching stuff. Hold up. 
But our breakfast peppers, I put them in the ramekin. Oh, what am I doing? But y'all can see, just for stability. So we've got a nice blistering. Ouch, it's hot. All right, let me just not hurt myself. All right, we'll let them sit there. Looks good. Hi, Condemnia. You're always just in time, sir. We're gonna make our smoothie. Our breakfast peppers are done. Thank you so much for the compliment. All right, so for a smoothie, you guys, you can make a smoothie with three ingredients. You need some type of liquid, either a juice or a milk. Um, I think I'll do almond milk, maybe. I don't know. Um, you need some type of cream, yogurt, frozen yogurt, whatever. I'm gonna do my goat yogurt. Um, and then you need whatever fruit that you like. So I'm gonna do a berry smoothie. I think I'll garnish with a little bit of lemon zest. Hello, living out. Caudel says they're singing. You could hear the peppers. Weren't they sizzling nicely? All right, so let's see. Let's just put a few uh, fruits in a cup and um, wash them. And then I'll save a few for the garnish. So we've got fresh blackberries. The fruits that I eat are berries, apples, and citrus, the ones that are kind of lower sugar. But y'all can do this with apple, you can do it with banana, you can do it with mango. Oh, crypto. So you were asking about the joint pain. Everybody struggles, you know, differently. When I got my test results and I got the list of foods that I had to avoid, it was a lot. I was actually kind of mad about it. Oh, my strawberries are starting to look sad, y'all. I got to get moving on these. Um, so I kind of went cold turkey and I just eliminated everything that was on my list. Ideally, they say you're supposed to like slowly bring things back. I think the gluten and dairy causes me a lot of issues too. So that's why I'm just sugar-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. Hmm. <laughs> Crypto's here for the smoothie. All right. Um, so we got our cutting board. We don't need to do a whole lot with it. I'm just going to cut the strawberries a little bit so that they can blend up. You don't really have to. So I turned my onion cutting board over. So I'm just gonna do a handful of fruit. This is just for me, just for me. So I'm just gonna do, let's say four blackberries, you know, a few, I don't know what you guys like, a few blueberries, and then I'll get a couple strawberries. I'm just gonna cut off uh, the tops so that they can blend. Let me put them in here and rinse them first. So this is our fruit, a handful of fruit. If you're just making a smoothie for you, a handful is fine. Crypto says gluten is the devil. I know I love the chew, but it doesn't love me back. Ooh, Condemia says you have an interest in using yogurt in your smoothies in the near future. Absolutely, all right. So let's see how it works. So I've just got a handful of fruit, just for me, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. So we're just going to dry those off. And then for the strawberries, I'm just taking the tops off. Y'all know Caudel told us that, um, oh, Crypto likes blackberries. Yeah, I grew up picking these and eating them raw or wild or whatever it's called. Caudel says you can keep the tops of your uh, strawberry hats. You can make tea out of the leaves or you can eat this. It's good for the tummy if you have any digestion issues. So I didn't know that. All right, so I'm just taking the tops off. And since we're blending, I'm just gonna quarter them, cut in half turn, cut in half turn. And then same thing, I put the flat side down for stability, cut in half, and cut in half. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this into the blender. If you want a creamier smoothie, then use, you know, like, milk as your liquid. Um, if you want a um, juicier smoothie, use juice. And I'm going to put a couple ice cubes in here. I'm using fresh fruit, but if you have frozen fruit, that works fine too. Oh, Caudel. Yes, ma'am. I do remember. I'm actually here to learn from y'all too. Um, 
Crypto says there's a blackberry tree close to the house. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know anything. I don't I don't know everything. Y'all know I just make this stuff up. So yeah, I'm learning from y'all too. That's how we teach each other, right? Nana had to teach me. We all start somewhere. Now I'm wondering, I think I'll put a little bit of lemon zest in here just for a little brightness, a little zing, and maybe even some lemon juice. Let me think about that. Do we want a little tart in our berry smoothie? That would be good. Uh, moving in silence said you had strawberries about to go bad. You put them in a saucepan with water and the swerve, which is the sugar substitute. Cook them down and it's a great topping. Yes, you can make your own jam. Lemon juice, you got it, crypto. All right. So I'm going to do almond milk and yogurt, but let's go ahead and I'm going to wash this lemon and I'm going to zest a little bit so I have some of that rind. So let me go ahead and wash this and I will juice it. We're getting a little fancy, y'all. You can just do fruit, yogurt, and your liquid and ice and you're done. But why be regular when you can be extra? Lemon zest sounds fancy. Condemn you, you like me fancy, right? I wear the pearls for you. All right, so let's cut this lemon in half. Well, actually, let's zest it first. All right. Condemnia gets mad if I don't have the pearls on, so I got to make sure we keep our scholars and our sponsors uh, pleased. All right, so to zest citrus, you basically just want to get the flavor from the oils that's inside. So you can use, you know, any fine grater. And I'm just going to go around and I'm just literally going to go like scrape, scrape, scrape and turn. You stop when you get to the white part because the white part is bitter. This is just going to be a little bit of a garnish. And I'll put it inside and a little bit on top. kind of collecting here so I have to scrape I know Condenia's here for the pearl tech yes sir y'all I wore them one time and ever since then we even have them on our logo I look like her today don't I I'm getting some blue frames but yes she's got her pearls and she's got her earrings so make sure that um I make you guys proud Lemon zest is great on desserts. We do this in our crab cake. Gives you that nice bright citrus. So you see I'm just kind of going all the way around. Doesn't have to be perfect. But when I have a bowl of lemons here, I like to use all of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Daggum robots are listening, right? Hi, Bolo TV. Thank you so much. Crypto, you're going to try it today. Wonderful. Bolo, good morning to you. Thank you for being here. All right. So that's pretty good. I mean, I could keep going, but I've got a lot of lemon zest on the back side of this. So what I'm going to do and I got some on the counter too. We'll just toss that. But what I'm going to do, I'll use, I'll leave this as a garnish and I'm going to scrape this into the blender. I really like lemon. If you don't, you can skip this, but this will give it a nice brightness. You could do this with lime. You could do this with orange, whatever citrus you have. So we have our fresh fruit and our lemon zest in here. And so now I'm going to cut the lemon so that we can juice it. I'm going to cut it in half crossways. And we're going to juice it into here. Mm. 
You can do it by hand. Y'all know I have these gadgets. This is just a lemon juicer. You have your half lemon. You put the seed side down so the little holes will catch the seeds. And then you squeeze it together over. I don't know if y'all can see, but we're getting pretty good juice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a whole lemon. Ugh, crypto says today. All right, so I've gotten juice out of here, but I've kept the seeds and I would not toss this. If I would make tea, I would put this whole half lemon into the tea and just continue to get that lemon flavor. I don't wanna waste. So that's three ways to use the lemon, the zest, the juice, and then still the rind. So I would make like a pitcher of tea that I would drink on. Oh, look, getting a lot. All right. So I'll just move those to the side. So we got our lemon juice in there. Do I have enough fruit? I feel like I probably need a little bit more strawberry. I don't know. Y'all want some more fruit or is that enough? I'm going to go ahead and put some almond milk in there. You can use whatever milk you like. So I'm going to do almond milk. If you can have cow dairy, crypto says yes to the whole lemon. You got it. All right. So how much liquid? I'm eyeballing it um, enough for the consistency. I'm just going to go to the level that it covers up the fruit. Kind of up to the blade. Not so much, but yeah, that much. <laughs> Hi, Mona. Thank you for being here. Okay. And then I'm going to get a couple of ice cubes just in my hand. Okay, probably more like a handful. If you are using frozen food, frozen fruit, you don't have to uh, put ice in. But since I'm using fresh fruit, um, you want your smoothie to have that nice thick consistency. All right, so now I'm just going to put in the yogurt. Um, you can also skip the ice too if you're doing frozen yogurt, but I have fresh yogurt. <laughs> All right, so y'all know I'm dairy free. If you can have regular yogurt, please have some for me. But I am using this yogurt made from goat's milk. So this is plain. So this is kind of like a Greek yogurt. So it is going to be kind of tart. So I'm definitely going to have to sweeten it. Ooh, I know what we'll use, y'all. All right, so this is my Redwood, Redwood, Redwood Hill Farm yogurt made from goat's milk. But you can use plant-based yogurt, coconut yogurt, almond yogurt, or regular cow yogurt. Y'all know how it pops out when you open it. Did it get on me? All right. So this is just regular, plain Greek yogurt. If you eat it just by itself, it gives you that nice little tang. Woo! All right, so that I don't waste, I'm going to scrape this in here and then toss the, um, the foil. But I am going to put a nice little scoop in here. So how much? I don't know. A scoop? Probably like... Um, quarter to half cup, maybe a third, you know, depending on how creamy you want it. I like it pretty creamy. So you can always like blend it. If it's too watery, add more ice or add more yogurt. But y'all, I just make it up as I go. I should be a better teacher for you. Yes, they're great on summer days. Crypto, what are you laughing at? What did I do now? All right, so let's just scrape this in here. So in here we have strawberries, we have blueberries, we have blackberries, we have ice, we have goat's milk yogurt, almond milk, and some lemon zest. Now this has not been sweetened. So my sugar-free, y'all know I'm going for the skinny syrups. Caldell loves the spatulas. <laughs> so if you can have sugar, you can put your sugar, you can put your honey. This is what I'm using back to the skinny syrups. So again, zero calories, zero sugar. This is the strawberry syrup, and it'll give us that nice red color. I'm gonna do a lot because I'm greedy. That's probably like three or four pumps, and then I'll taste it, and if I need more, I'll add more. All right, so now we're gonna blend and see if we get the consistency that we like and the flavor that we like. I'm using my little Ninja food processor. You can use a little Nutribullet 
or a real blender. I'll mute so you guys don't get blasted. A little janky. Skinny Syrups Crypto. Hi, I am. Thank you so much for being here. So the crypto, you can see this one came from TJ Maxx, $3.99. You can also buy them online. I do have a coupon code for you, skinnymixes.com, if you look in the class notes at the bottom. But if you go to TJ Maxx, Ross, Home Goods, any of those stores that have a um, gourmet food section in the back, then you can get the skinny syrups. And they have all the flavors. Let me mute so y'all don't have to. Because y'all can see it's overflowing and it's not um, thick enough. So I am going to taste it and then add some more ice so we get that real smoothie texture. But I'm just tasting. I like the color. Yeah, that's definitely. Usually I use frozen fruit on this. Ooh. Yummy. I'm like, why is it tart? I forgot the lemon. It's really good. And I'm going to get some more ice, just adding a little sweet because we put that whole lemon juice in there. All right, so let me get some more ice. I'm actually going to pour some out. Y'all saw it was overflowing, right? <clears throat> Nana would be on me. I do have a proper, you know what? I do have a proper blender. I never really use it, but it's part of the Ninja. It comes in two sizes. So I'll just put the ice in here. Sorry, it's loud. And then I'll pour all of this. And I think I'll do just a little bit more ice. A shortcut is just to use frozen fruit, and that's easy. You can get that at the Dollar Tree. All right, so let's see if we can get some thicker consistency. But again, we're being fancy. You can just be liquid, fruit, and yogurt. If y'all want to add all kind of proteins and different things to it, you can do that too. Crypto says more ice. Yes. All right. Maybe we'll need more. I'm going to mute and blend and see how we do. I can tell by the way it's moving. I'm just going to do a full cup of ice. So it's getting... Thicker, more ice. All right, so we're gonna put a whole cup. Shouldn't be this difficult. I haven't made a smoothie in a long time. I used to make them all the time. All right, I'm gonna mute so y'all don't have to hear the blender. Moving in Silence says you got all the skinny syrups at Marshall's. There you go. Oh, all right. So that is thick because y'all like it thick and you like it chunky. That's actually, I might, I might need to blend a little more. Ooh. Oh, that lemon juice, that brightness. Crypto likes the blender noise. You got it. All right, I'm going to blend just a little bit more just to get, you see, we've got a little bit of like 
almost like a slushy tendency. So this is what you get when you use a lot of ice. If you want it creamier, then you can put more yogurt, but y'all see how it goes. Just kind of play with it. All right, y'all plug your ears. I'm gonna do like 15 seconds for crypto. I feel like it's loud, but here you go. like it loud. So to me, it's kind of got like a little bit of a slushy, but uh, the flavor is really, really good. Woo. 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 I think y'all, okay, because I'm already being extra. I'm going to put just a little bit more yogurt in there. I want this a little bit more creamy. Hi, God's girl. Thank you for being here. This is excellent and very refreshing, but I'm gonna put, y'all I'm making enough for like a whole bunch. A little bit more goat's yogurt for me, a little bit more skinny syrups, my sugar-free syrup. One more time. I think I have what I want. Yeah, that's much better. You see before it was more like slushy. You see how it's getting creamier? So you can play around with it. Perfect. All right, so let's pour. We are gonna garnish it. If y'all saw the um, thumbnail, our peppers are done. It's time for the presentation. And then I will drop the link if anybody wants to chat. Completely optional. You don't have to cam up. I'll pull up a chair. I'll eat with you guys for like 20 minutes and then I'm going to go to service. All right, so we're going to pour this into a... I'm thinking. I'm always thinking of the thumbnail that I post for you guys because my thumbnails, I'm literally looking at Google images like, ooh, that looks pretty. And then I try to recreate it. All right, so I think on the thumbnail, it has like just a few blueberries. So we have fresh blueberries. We have fresh blackberries. This is just for the garnish. I'm not blending anything else. And I think it has a couple strawberries. If my memory serves, there's like some whole strawberries and some cut up strawberries. These are starting to look sad. But let's see if I can get some that look pretty good. All right, let me rinse these off. All right, I'm just going to cut the strawberry really quick for our garnish. There's one that looks like that. And one that's like, I don't know if it's quartered or halved or whatever. Okay, so that's just, I think I like that better. All right, so for our picture, let's get our plate. Same color as the thumbnail. Good job, Maggie. And we got our lemon zest. Don't forget, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on. Thank you. I take my own pictures. This is going on our, um, what's it called? Uh, community tab in my Instagram. That's how Maggie the Substitute Teacher started. All right, thank you, Marcus. All right, so let's get our peppers. We made our peppers and it has some lemon zest too. You're right, look at my scholar. Okay. So if y'all were here from the beginning, we made some stuffed peppers. So you can see here, I'm gonna try and carefully, you know what, maybe I don't have to take them out of the ramekins. Maybe I just 
place them on here. Is it still lava hot? All right. I'll use my hands. So this is a green bell pepper. We've got egg and cheese, onion, garlic, everything. I think I need to cut into it, but let's get a good picture. All right, let's do this smoothie. So we have a glass. Uh, hold up. The mouth of the um, blender is bigger than this. So I think if you make a mess, that's fine. Just wipe it up before you present. All right, I'm just gonna spoon some on here so you can kind of get it up to the top without making too much of a mess and then doing our garnish. Still got those ice crystals. All right, let me move. All right. Okay, and then we also have This is just the lemon zest. Sticking to my fingers, it's got a little bit of water. I probably should have saved some lemon to zest on here dry because it's a little bit watery. Can y'all see that? And of course, for a smoothie, You need a smoothie straw, a big one. Are y'all able to see that? All right, so let me take a quick picture. Move everything out of the way. This will go on the community tab. I'll just put a little bit of fruit here, just for a little color. And where's my phone? There it is. I just take lots of pictures from different angles. Vibrant and colorful. Thank you, Condemnia. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. Before everything starts to... I just take several pictures from different angles, some with the flash, some without the flash, and then we'll go in for the taste. And I think I'll... I'm going to take the... Um, I want to cut into the pepper. All right, let's take a taste. God, it's so good. Y'all, okay, forgive me for the outburst. Juicing the lemon in there with the creaminess of the um, almond milk and the, um, what is it? Goat's yogurt or whatever, or Greek yogurt. Because the yogurt, plain yogurt, is very tart and tangy. Oh. So I'm taking my stuffed peppers out, y'all. I put them in the ramekin just so that they wouldn't, like, fall over. Knees buckling, yes. Yes, knees are buckling. All right, so my peppers have stuck together. Let's see. I want to stay elegant for um, condemning you, y'all, by this point. Because this is really me cooking for y'all what I'm going to eat, and I'm hungry when I start. Mm. Okay. Crypto says, told you about the lemon. So y'all can see here. Hopefully you can see our stuffed peppers. Oh, hi, mom. <laughs> y'all, Nana's here. Oh, boy. Okay. So y'all can see the green pepper. Oh, y'all can see the green pepper here. I cracked an egg inside. We've got cheese. We've got bacon. I'm gonna cut into it. Let me have some fruit. Mm. Mm. All right, so let's cut into our pepper. Y'all, I'm hungry.
Now, when you cut into your pepper, remember we said that these peppers are kind of watery? Uh-oh. All right, move our yogurt. Peppers are kind of watery. Let me eat my beef bacon. Mm. So when I cut into it, if it runs a little bit, it's to be expected. So let me cut it in half. So mom, Nana, this was your pepper from your garden. So y'all remember it was one pepper that we cut in half this way. Let me see if I can get in there without destroying it. If y'all weren't here, I would just pick this thing up and... <laughs> That's why I have to take etiquette classes. Oh, yes, sir. Condemn you. Everything bagel seasoning? Yes, sir. So this is what we have on top of the pepper. So y'all can see it is... Sesame seeds, salt, pepper, all kind of good stuff. All right, so hopefully y'all can see the cross section here. We have our egg, we have our cheese, our bacon, onion, and garlic. Okay, let me cut it with a fork. I can hear my mom telling me to make, take lady bites. And I think it did well because maybe blotting it, but it's not like, leaking out so much. Mmm! Caldell is saying pictures! Y'all, the egg is cooked perfectly. Now, I like my egg cooked through, but, um, oh my god. All right, let me get a cross section. Thank you, Caldell. Because y'all see I'm just in here tearing it up. Hungry, greedy. Mm -hmm. All right. What pictures, I mean, what, what questions do y'all have? Oh my gosh. I gotta get a picture with the yolk. It is so good. It's so good. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Let me see if I can. I got this nice shell of cheese on the top. I'm trying not to like destroy. I'm trying to get, let's see if I do it this way. I want to get a good cross section of the yolk. Please stay together. All right. So y'all can basically see, we cracked the whole egg inside. Try and get a picture of that. Oh God. Y'all with the smoothie? Come on! Oh, I forgot to serve you. Got all greedy. One moment. Hold on y'all. So good. All the flavors. So what we did is we took Nana's pepper from her garden. This can be any pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, red pepper. Cut it in half, rinsed it out, blotted with a paper towel. Your breakfast is ready. There you go. Um, so good, y'all. Um. <clears throat> You just have this little shell of cheese on the top. Maybe if you cut it before it solidifies all the way, but I'm trying to keep it intact because I just want to rip it apart. Um, what did we do? Scoop out the middle. I don't know if Leanne is still on, but we put cream cheese. It's a little messy to eat. Okay, that's not elegant. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Hungry. We lined it with cream cheese, little chopped onion. And who was it that was asking? Somebody was asking if I cooked the onions first. I didn't. You can tell that they've uh, cleaned, they've uh, cooked in nicely. Mm. Mm. Onion, garlic, cracked an egg, put cheese and bagel seasoning on top.
Mm. One bell pepper. Mm. Mm. The lemon berry smoothie, very surprising. I've never put lemon in a smoothie, excuse me, but as it sits and it kind of mixes with the yogurt and the um, fruit. <sighs> Y'all, this thing right here is so good. Maybe you should eat it before it completely cools. So it'll just kind of cut easily, but you can see the different layers we got going on in here. Oh my God, so yummy. Mm. Beef bacon. Melting with the creaminess of the egg. Y'all, I know it looks crazy, but all the flavors are so good together. Sugar free, dairy free, gluten free. You can make these, this is just one pepper cut in half. You can make them for the whole family, have a tray. Cheers. Mm. Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know if y'all have questions. I'm just having breakfast. It is so good. So that was half. So it's two eggs. Cracked an egg inside. Y'all, it's so good. I feel slightly rude just eating, but <clears throat> I'll finish up and then we'll be done. I appreciate y'all being here. Don't know if I'm going to live stream again. We'll see how it goes, but um, I do want to do a, a cake for you all. I have a cake recipe I want to try. I want to do the Philly cheese steak. Um, meat pies, kind of like a little hot pocket. Got a recipe that I want to try. Um, so much good stuff. The peppers have blistered. Oh, the peppers have blistered. They're nice and soft. You can do this with egg. You could do this without egg. This is the breakfast version. Y'all could just do meat and veggies. You could do a Latin version, an Italian version. A great way to eat peppers. Crypto, what are you looking at? I see eyeballs, but I don't want to touch my iPad. Hmm. Y'all, this was worth the wait. So good. A little bit. Oh my God. That. Oh. For me, it's perfect. I like the eggs set like that. Some people like their eggs a little runnier. That's fine. I don't know, whoever's made this before, when you eat them, do they kind of disintegrate like this on you? Don't matter. I'm eating it anyway. All right. Bye, Lisa. Thank you. I'm going to be done as soon as I'm done. Mm. Oh, my gosh. So good. Falls apart a little bit, but 
absolutely worth the wait. So yeah, you can give, definitely give this a try. Uh, I think the ramekin, putting them in a ramekin so they had some structure was a good, um, good tip. Because if not, they'll tilt over and you'll lose your egg. Mm. So yummy. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm getting full. Let's clean up. All right, y'all. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I've got one piece left. I don't see any questions. Crypto, I don't know what you were looking at. Just the food or the smoothie or everything. I'll take um, the drip tray out of Excalibur for our bacon. Smoothie is excellent. Skinny syrups. <clears throat> I use fresh fruit, but you can definitely use um, frozen. Ooh, Marcus is going to make a smoothie with lime. That's nice and tangy. I love that. <clears throat> All right, everyone. So we are at our two-hour time. Oh, boy. Oh, got a brain freeze. Ooh, hold up. gonna have to end it on that. I took a big swig of the um, smoothie and it got me. Yes, ramekin was a great idea. So if you're gonna do the peppers, the ramekin is basically, <sighs> if you have crab or shrimp or anything that you use the little butter dish. Once I stuffed the pepper, I put it in the ramekin and then cooked it with this so that it had stability. Woo. All right, everyone, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna finish the rest of this and go to service. I hope you all have a great day and um, I love cooking for you as always. If I feel up to it, maybe I'll come on later today and do a little dessert or something or the um, Philly. Um, if not, we'll just enjoy a lazy Sunday. All right, guys, good night class.